Duncan is back. Duncan, like, a, like two storm fronts of narcissism and self-loathing. When those two storm fronts collide, you find Duncan. Well, it's a, you know, it's an odd situation because obviously the show is pivoting back in a number of ways. So not just in terms of plots, but in terms of personnel, actual personnel rather than characters. So uh, I think there's a, a certain sense of a reboot. I mean, with, uh, with Duncan alone, it doesn't make any real sense that I've been gone for two seasons. <laughs> I think they've occasionally made comments in scripts about, oh, where is he? Has anyone seen him recently? <laughs> so I've been gone for two years while supposedly still being around. Uh, so there's, it's a pretty funny way that I just uh, walked back in. Yeah, they were friends before all of this happened. They were, yeah, they were drinking buddies with all the problems that that entails. So they're, yeah, they're, they're going to get back to their drinking buddy ways this season. Seems to, I think Duncan probably brings out the worst in Jeff, but he also brings out the worst in anyone he comes into contact with. It's hard to say whilst knowing that you should say nothing. So, you know, it's, it's hard. It's hard to give something that isn't almost a self parody of an enigmatic answer. But it's, uh, it's not, you, you are going to have to watch. Otherwise, it, I mean, things, as you know with community, things move, it, things move in quite complicated ways. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's certainly a reason to watch. Jeff gets into some scrapes, like he always does. Everyone's back. Yeah, everyone's back at Greendale, apart from Chevy. You know, Chevy's gone for reasons that become clear. Gone in a very significant way. Uh, so, yeah, no, there is, there is a certain sense of things being reset. And then, on top of that, there is mayhem. There are some episodes that are absolutely insane. Yeah, really, getting the scripts for each one as they come through, you tend to just really going, holy shit. How are you even going to shoot that? Now, there's, there are the episodes, again, I don't want to give too much away, there are episodes that are almost entirely off the, off the ground. It's, it's like a half an hour action movie. And I know they've done that before, but this is going to insane levels. Yeah, what they're even trying to do in this season is incredible to watch. It's going to be very good. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a lot of, because they're so, the scripts are so good. You know, this is like a... It is a writing-based first show, this. So when the scripts are flying as they are at the moment, like each, the last one I just read, the one that we're shooting this week, it's just, it's phenomenal. It's absolutely incredible, the scale of ambition of what they are trying to do with a half an hour network comedy show. It's, um, it's, it's almost getting ridiculous, the caliber of guest stars. Like you'll just be walking out of a scene, someone will be in going to wardrobe for a, the next episode, you think, holy shit, it's the guy from Terminator 2. It's ridiculous. Ben Foles is coming. It's not even just people, like, or extra people being added to the cast. It's the people that are coming in for just one scene. It's unbelievable the guest stars they've got. I think if I was an actor, it would be intimidating. But that's like saying how intimidating it is to play baseball with Babe Ruth when you're a chef. No, I'm not an actor, so I, I, I imagine if you're an actor, it is hugely intimidating because he's very good at acting. But uh, uh, yeah, for me, it's just it's good to watch Mike from Breaking Bad up close. He's very good. But yeah, I'm not really. I'm a, I'm a comedian first, second, and all. So yeah, it's uh, it's amazing watching him work. It's very funny. That's what, that's what I mean. That's why I love the script so much. Because the script is all jokes. It's so dense. The storytelling is so complicated. And it looks effortless when it gets on TV. Nothing about writing a script that good is easy. Nothing about shooting a script that good is easy. It's all complicated. Every, that's what I love about here so much. Every single decision people here seem to make the harder decision. And it when you just keep that concept of making difficult decisions, trying ambitious things at every single point, you end up with something awesome. So yeah, I, I'm, I love being involved here. This season is going to be amazing.